Are you currently selling courses with Thinkific? If so, stop now and make sure to watch this five minute video. Thinkific is perfect for creating online courses, signing up students, and much more. But what do you do after people complete your Thinkific courses? Well, today we're gonna to reveal the secret sauce many Thinkific users are applying to expand their brands and explode their revenue. But first, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below to help us create more awesome videos just like this. So, how can we generate more revenue after students finish our Thinkific courses? Well, the secret lies with Brilliant Directories. A Brilliant Directories website lets you gather contacts into one platform, sell more services, even monthly subscriptions, and have a private or public directory of everyone who's ever signed up for your Thinkific courses. And best of all, you can show off the size and power of the community that you've worked so hard to build. So let's quickly dive into how we can sync Thinkific user data with our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this same method works with other integration platforms such as Pably, Integrately, and more. So here we have our Thinkific website where we are offering a course about online marketing. Now in this example, what we're gonna do is we are going to sign up for the course on our Thinkific website here. Then we're gonna automatically create a profile for that new user on our student directory website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is the student directory. And you can see here that we have just over 60 different students inside of our student directory. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna log into Zapier and begin to create our Zap to link these two together. So once we are logged into Zapier, we're gonna go ahead and click on create a Zap. And the first thing we need to do is select a trigger. So for the trigger, we're gonna select Thinkific. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And for the event, we are going to choose a new user, which is going to be when a course signup happens, that's gonna be our new user. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna click on continue. And next, we need to connect our Thinkific account. So we're gonna go ahead and click on sign in. And once we click on sign in, that's gonna go ahead and open up a new window for us where we need to enter the subdomain for our Thinkific account. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to find that. Now to get started, we're gonna go ahead and log into a new tab here. And this is gonna be the backend admin area for our Thinkific account. Now, once we're logged in on the left-hand side, we wanna click on settings. And once we're inside of those settings, we're gonna go ahead and click on site URL, and that's gonna show us our site URL. Now the information that we wanna copy is the subdomain, which is all of the beginning information just before that first little period, okay? So in our case, it's brilliant-academy. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that, and then I'm gonna copy it. Then we're gonna go back to Zapier. I'm gonna open up that extra window that we had. I'm gonna paste it in there just like that, and click on yes, continue. And once I do that, give Zapier a moment to go ahead and make that connection for us. As we can see, it loaded up our account and now we can click on continue. And Zapier, we're gonna go ahead and test the trigger here to make sure that connection was made. And as we can see, the connection was made and a user was found. So now we can click on continue. All right, so now that we have that done, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna tell Zapier to create a new member profile inside of our Brilliant Directories website anytime anyone signs up to our course on Thinkific. So for the action, it's gonna be Brilliant Directories. So let's go ahead and click on that. And for the event, it's gonna be create a user. So we're gonna select that, and then we're gonna click on continue. If you haven't done this yet, we need to connect our Brilliant Directories account with Zapier, kind of like we did with Thinkific, except we need a little bit different information. So we're gonna go ahead and click on sign in. And once again, that's gonna open up a new window where we need to connect our account. Now for this one, we need our website URL and our API key. Now the cool thing is we can actually click this little link here where it says API details, and that's gonna take us to the direct screen that we need to go to to get that information. And once that loads up, you'll see that we are on the API keys screen for our Brilliant Directories. And up here in the top right-hand corner, we are going to click on Generate API Key. Then we need to give this an internal name for our reference. I'm gonna call mine Zapier-Thinkific, and then click on Save API Key. Now, once we save it, that's gonna give us the key, and we can click this little copy icon to copy that key, head back over to our Zapier integration, and paste in the API key. Now for our website URL, we can do something similar here. We can go back to our Brilliant Directories website and up here in the top right hand corner, we can actually click on this visit website button and that's gonna open up our website and as well show us what our URL is up here in the top. So we're gonna copy that. 
Once again, we are going to head back to our Zapier integration. We're going to paste that in there and we're going to remove any trailing slashes at the end. We only want to end with the dot com. Now, once we have that full thing there, we're going to click on yes, continue. And we can see that Zapier has integrated with our account. So now we can click on continue. And from here, we need to set up our action. And the way that we do that is we are going to map the user data that we collected during our Thinkific course signup. And we're going to choose it here inside of Zapier. So most importantly, the email address, the first name and the last name. So for the email, if we click inside of this box, so we're going to go ahead and choose the email form there. We're going to go back. And then for the first name, same thing. We're going to click on first name. And then for the last name, once again, we're going to choose the last name. Now, once we have all that information entered that we collected, we can go to the bottom here and click on continue. Then we can go ahead and test the action just to make sure everything is synced up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and test that. Give it just a moment here to run the test. Awesome. And we can see that worked successfully. So now we can click on publish zap and then publish and turn on. Okay, great. Now that's live. It's all set up and ready to go. So now let's test it and make sure that it works properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here to my website where I am selling the course and I'm going to go ahead and enroll for free. And I'm going to enter my email address and my first name and my last name and click on sign up. And in this case, my name is John Snow. From here, go ahead and create a password and complete my setup. All right, and once I do that, we are now inside of my course. So now what I'm gonna do is see if it works. We're gonna head over here to our student directory and we should see right there, Jon Snow has been automatically inserted and added to our brilliant directories. Absolutely brilliant. And there we have it. If you have a Thinkific website, this is a must have integration that you'll wanna set up. Click the free demo link in the description below to discover all the ways that you can monetize your Thinkific members using brilliant directories. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.